that way are all pretty close to us, so that worked out really well. The next mm -hmm. one is uh, a Terrapin Pumpkin Fest, and actually Terrapin does some neat stuff with their beers. They're called side projects, and if you ever get a chance to try some of their side project beers, you should certainly do that. This particular side project is their Pumpkin Fest, and it's kind of a mix between a pumpkin beer and an Oktoberfest beer, and uh, it's the one and only one I've ever tried like that, so it's pretty neat to try that. That's 6.10% alcohol, and uh, it was kind of toasted malty, like an Oktoberfest beer, with also some pumpkin spice in it as well, so that was kind of an interesting beer yeah. as well. Yeah. And it was good, good beer to try, though, so that was the Terrapin Side Project Pumpkin Fest. Awesome, awesome. Next on the list. Next up, we have the uh, Dogfish Head. They're from Delaware, down on the beach. Uh, their pumpkin ale... It, uh, r really good again you know a lot of these they're supposed to be pumpkining so but I really picked up on the uh, the nutmeg again the yeah. cinnamon mm -hmm. uh, a light pumpkin flavor to it so uh, r really good super super beer yeah that yeah, was creamy real creamy Definitely. in the in the, creamy. In the flavor that was seven percent and then I don't know if it, best for last or whatever we'll, we'll talk about what we the ones we like but the from out of New York the southern tier Pumpkin, uh, brewed with pagan spirit. Ah. Uh, pumpkin beer, of course, but both Brian and I tasted like carrot cake. You know, it's yeah. a pumpkin beer, but boy, I got a lot of cake. V vanilla. Vanilla. I mean, vanilla just popped out yep. at me. Nutmeg, of course. Yeah. Uh, cinnamon, of course, but all those characteristics in a in a carrot cake. Or, or, you know, and, and we were talking about it at Mekon mm -hmm. that night. And we'll, we'll talk about these four beers were provided to us from uh, Kevin down at uh, Grape and Gourmet. And Thanks. On, thanks, Kevin. And On provided us with the uh, Southern Tier. We could not find these anymore. And mm -hmm. On hooked us up with a couple of these at Mekon. It, awesome. it tastes like cake that, that you would get. It's birthday cake. Yep. It's like birthday cake. It's pumpkin birthday cake. Yeah. Fantastic. Carrot cake all mixed in one. Nice alcohol, nine percent. It's a it's a beautiful beer. Yeah, high, well, high alcohol, real well. Well, well worth drinking. Gr great beer to have when you're having more than one. So there you go. That's kind of our uh, pumpkin idea for our Halloween show. And yeah. uh, so but, this one stood out. But mm -hmm. Brian, which one did you like best? Uh, ac actually. The one that I liked the best? Yeah, the, from our taste test, which well, one that Which one did I pick? Because well, we, we kind of oh, did the right, blind right, tasting. You're right, right. blind tasting, I had that. And oddly enough, it's the empty cap with no top, but you actually did pick the Elworks, Williamsburg Elworks beer. Yeah. And uh, for pumpkin myself, pie. pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, yeah. Pie. And, and John actually picked the dogfish dog head. Dogfish head, yeah. He went back and forth and back and forth a couple times. Yeah. And, when it came right down to it, it was the dogfish head. Dogfish head, yep. It was, you know, it was, it, during the tasting, we could, and I know I keep looking at the beers, but because I want more of them, but we could we could single this out. So we were trying to separate the pumpkin from the rest of them yeah. and then try to do a taste test on what we had for the rest of the beers. And Brian picked out the L Works and I picked out the dogfish head, but... It was great to do that, to try something a little different, and it worked out really well, we thought. Yeah, so awesome. I, I was happy with that. You know, what's real funny is is the direction for the show was going to be a little bit different. Yeah. We were going to do all scary beers. Really scary and, beers. And uh, John had picked one out here. What is that? This one is a Coney Island Freaktoberfest, is, is what I picked out. That sounds freaky. Because, uh, you know, dressed up as a monk... You know, I, I kind of wanted to reminisce a little and, and have uh, talk about stories of, of old years and growing up about Halloween and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I wanted to do today. Yeah, that uh, sounds like a lot of no no fun to me. <laughs> really? Are you going to share stories about... Yeah, I wanted about... to share stories about being young and growing up. And... Growing up. <laughs> well, why would you do that? What with the wizard sitting right next to you that obviously knows how to do some cool magic. Well, we saw yeah. that. We d we got demonstrated some cool magic earlier. Yeah, definitely some cool magic. So uh, I don't know about this whole um, uh, childhood mm -hmm. dreams idea. <sighs> childhood dreams. Thank you, John.
fantastic. A little bit of uh, Freaktoberfest for me. Ooh, wow, that's different. Wow, this is very red. Very tasty. It's, it actually has a red, freaky head on it. Pretty cool. Wow. Guess we gotta bring them back. Let's see. <clears throat> well, don't you think it'd be a great idea to do that? I think that's an awesome idea, John, but you know what? We're starting to run out of time. Well, let me... What, we can talk what, about childhood what, dreams on the next show. Where's my beer? I, I, hey, uh... Uh, anyway, so kind of winding up, John. What, uh, some of the uh, other things that we want to mention. What? What? Make sure that you check out abzabeertv.com. We're on. On what? Twitter. Uh, We're on Twitter. Facebook. Uh, We're on Facebook. Okay. So make sure you hit our website. You can get all the links there. And uh, we also have some new columns. Check out on uh, the website, yeah, right, John? Yeah, we do. We're. we're uh, new columns, yep. Uh, Beer Whisper and uh, uh, this is very freaky. Yeah, it's freaky looking. Uh, I came. What's going on there? Going on? <laughs> Three new columns. Beer Whisper. I mean, uh... <laughs> it's not going away. Uh, what drives you to drink? Confessions of a bartender. And our, our first uh, foray into the written word about some places that we travel to. Definitely. But more of that's coming. And uh, looks like that's it. Absolutebeertv.com. Yep. Out. Skin, shit talks, dirty